As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately. Tell us, they said, when will this happen and what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? Mm. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. All these are the beginning of birth pains. For then there will be great distress, unequal from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again. If those days had not been cut short, no one would survive. Immediately after the distress of those days, the sun will be darkened, and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky, and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, the sign of the Son of Man will appear in the sky. When you see all these things, you know that it is near, right at the door. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. They knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Another angel came out of the temple and called in a loud voice to him who was sitting on the cloud. Take your sickle and reap, because the time to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is ripe. I looked, and there before me was a pale horse. Rider was named Death, and Hades was following close behind him. The fourth angel poured out his bowl on the sun, and the sun was allowed to scorch people with fire. They were seared by the intense heat and they cursed the name of God who had control over these plagues, but they refused to repent and glorify Him. A third of the earth was burned up, a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. Then there came severe earthquake. No earthquake like it has ever occurred since the human race has been on earth. So tremendous was the quake. The great city split into three parts and the cities of the nations collapsed. Every island fled away and the mountains could not be found. From the sky, huge hailstones, each weighing about a hundred pounds, fell on people. And they cursed God on account of the plague of hail because the plague was so Above all, you must understand that in the last days, day of the Lord will come like a thief. The heavens will disappear with a roar. The elements will be destroyed by fire and the earth and everything done in it will be laid bare. A couple days ago, it was the 150th anniversary of the greatest solar storm ever to belch out and hit the earth. Back then, didn't do much. Made the northern lights sparkle plenty and, and made telegraph wires burn a little bit. But today, if we were hit by that same size solar storm, the entire electrical power grid would be knocked out. Of the United States? Of the United States, at least. 
according to the National Academy of Sciences, not just me, Governor, the National Academy of Sciences, which is the closest thing we have to a Supreme Court, a scientific opinion in this world, up to 130 million people would be without electricity for months or years. We would lose basic security, emergency telecommunications, fresh water, because the pumps are electric, and we are vulnerable. And you're predicting that that is going to happen at what point in time? 2012. Lawrence Joseph is not exaggerating. Incredibly, NASA's own studies are in line with ancient predictions. This is the report. It includes opinions from experts around the world. It concludes that solar storms could lead to a cascade of catastrophe. Well, if this is such a threat then, and it's only a couple years away, why isn't it more on the radar screen? When the National Academy of Sciences report came out, it did get a little bit of buzz and a little bit of press, but it's even more than that. The next month, NASA discovered something that makes the why now more urgent than ever. And that is? A squadron of five NASA satellites called Themis, T-H-E-M-I-S, flew through a hole in the Earth's magnetic field that goes from the pole to equator. Why is that important? Because the Earth's magnetic field protects us from blasts from the sun. Its okay. job is to repel them and spin the blasts around so they don't hit the surface of the Earth. Sure. Except that this group of satellites found, much to everyone's surprise, that there's this giant hole in the Earth's magnetic field. It's like the shields are down, Scotty. They're supposed to be up, but they're down. Again, no exaggeration. December 2008. NASA reports its Themis spacecraft have discovered a giant breach in the magnetosphere, ten times larger than any thought to exist. And that's the Earth situation right now? The shields are down? It is. 